Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th, right around the 5th, right? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. What I want to say is don't waste my time. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, don't waste my time. I don't know who that is for. What do we have for a message for around the 5th? My time is valuable. Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of progress. Um, this is somebody that has fought some sort of battle. The battle is over. They've won. This is a winner, right? The Six of Wands is a winner. This is somebody that is a fighter that perseveres through hardship, that doesn't quit, that doesn't give up. So we definitely have somebody here that is fighting or they fought for something and they're winning. They're winning because they're not giving up. Or they didn't give up. Two of coins reversed. Two of coins reversed is having a hard time. Uh, they've, somebody has been juggling. They have been, they've had a lot on their plate. Um, Things may be a little chaotic right now. There's, they're having a hard time, having a hard time uh, handling everything. There's a need to let something go. Maybe there's a responsibility, or there's there's something that is is causing them to be unbalanced. They they need to stop dealing with it. Let it go. Maybe you have to let something go to have victory, to have success. Somebody has been over, overly committed to, you know, doing too much. They need to realign things. There's a realignment that is needed. It may require somebody to let go of something. You don't need to hang on to all that. You don't need to have all that. We, we have somebody here that may be struggling financially as well. This could be a financial mess. There's no contingency plan. This is, you know, bitten off. Somebody is bitten off more than they can chew and they need to let something go to have victory, to have success. There's a lack of balance with two of pentacles reversed. It's like things are all over the place. Four of Swords reversed. Now, the Four of Swords reversed is typically, to me, it's ex 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 <laughs> it's extremely exhausted and fed up. You know, I can't do this anymore. This is too much. It's too much. Tired, exhausted, fed up. There's too much. Somebody is 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 doing too much. They are. They're 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 tired. They're extremely tired. Extremely exhausted. They got too much on their plate, obviously, with the two of coins reverse, having a very hard time with all of these demands. This is somebody that is, is a winner, though, that doesn't like to give up. So we got somebody here that doesn't like to give up. They like to win. You know, like they, they got some sort of recognition. There could be people that are egging them on. You know, you got to do this. You got to do that. You know, there could be some, because of the public, you know, because of society, everybody's watching, you know. If this is too much, it's too much. Let it go. It's, you don't live their life. You know, they don't live your life, whatever. To have victory and success in your life, sometimes you need to let things go that bring you imbalance, you know, that cause you too much stress. There's definitely stress here. To have the victory, you have to uh, 
put yourself, you have to take care of yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself and you're taking care of everybody else, you're not going to have victory. We definitely have somebody here that is overwhelmed. They want to win. And it feels like they're in the spotlight. You know, they're worried about what everybody else is going to say. And there's a lot of people telling them what to do. The Six of Wands is a leader. Okay, you need, you're the leader. You're the boss. You, you are the, you know, champion. Of your life. We do have we we do have a champion here that has been overdoing it. This this person has been uh, is tired, is overwhelmed, is exhausted, trying to you know prove something. But they can handle it all. Hangman reverse could be dealing with a Pisces. This is struggling to let go, trying to prove a point. Absolutely. So we definitely have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling to let go. They're sacrificing themselves needlessly. They're wasting time. Interesting. Very interesting. We got somebody here that is, is in the, and if you think about juggling, the Two of Pentacles is about juggling. What is juggling? Juggling is playing games. Juggling is a game, right? So somebody is sacrificing themselves needlessly. They're struggling to let go of some sort of thing that they want to prove. I got to prove a point because I got to win. We definitely have somebody here that wants to win got a point to prove right I got to prove to the to the world this is like a martyr right I got to prove that I'm right I got to prove that I didn't make a mistake I got to prove that I won this person that is trying to prove that they won is uh exhausted and tired and overwhelmed and extremely stressed out having a hard time missing an opportunity. The hangman reverse is missing an opportunity because of their mentality, refusing to see something from a new perspective. I will not budge, stubborn as hell. So we have this champion that is very, very stubborn. Maybe they've been a champion all their life. They've always won in the past. The six of wands in the past position. So perhaps this person has always won in the past and do not like to lose. Right now they're overwhelmed, probably because they're unwilling to budge, extremely stubborn. The hangman is very egotistical in reverse, extremely egotistical. This person is missing an opportunity. They are unwilling to change, unwilling to change. So they're, somebody is missing, they're losing something. Struggling to let go of their ego and their pride, trying to prove a point, trying to prove that they win. Eight of coins reverse. That's something not working out. Um, we have somebody here that it isn't working out. They may be in a position where they're being recognized, where everybody thinks that they won, but they didn't really win because the eight of coins is in reverse. It's not working. Something is not working out. It's not working out. They may be losing money or, they, or something like that. Eight of pentacles reverse. It's not, not working. It's not working. Not trying to change, not trying. Not, so we have somebody here that likes to be in their position. You know, they, they want the leadership position, but it's not. They're not willing to look at things from a new perspective. And with evolution, you have to be able to look at things from a new perspective. You have to be open to budge. You have to be, you know, you've got to be open. This person isn't very open. Trying to prove that. 
you know, their way is the best way and that they know what this is a know-it-all that is missing an opportunity because of ego and pride. We have a person that likes to win. They, you know, the, the, their, their supporters or whoever it is that is supporting them may think that they have won. To the outside world, it looks like they have won, but they haven't. Because this person is tired, this person is exhausted, this person is overwhelmed, this person has bitten off more than they can chew. There, there, they could be some financial issues here. You know, they're not getting. You know, they could be hiding their financial problems, but there's some financial problems here. We have a very stubborn individual that is unwilling to change, that is losing something. But the hangman reverse is hiding it very well. Hiding hangman reverse is hiding something. Somebody is hiding something. Five of swords, like I said, somebody we got somebody here that wants to win at all costs. That's what this is. Five of Swords is a battle. It is a serious struggle. We have somebody here that wants to win at all costs. And they are battling. They are battling with themselves. They are also battling with the people around them. It's like I want everybody to think. It's I want everybody to think that I'm the best. That I'm the winner. But they aren't. Because this person is tired. Very tired. Extremely tired. People are probably walking away. They're probably seeing. They're probably seeing this person's ego. Ego again in the Five of Swords. This ego is now being seen. There's betrayal. There's deception. We have somebody here that hurts people. Three of Cups reverse. Three of Cups reverse is a termination. It is uh, parting ways. We have somebody here that is parting ways. There's gossip. People are talking. People are talking about this person. This person is going to be learning a lesson. The hangman reverse. They may be losing work. Somebody may be losing work because they're lying or they've done something to hurt another hurt people. They just keep hurting people. There's going the three of cups reverse is parting ways from friends or family. Uh something isn't working out we have somebody here that is extremely egotistical that doesn't care who they hurt that wants to win at all costs this person is about to lose something maybe they're losing money right now there's stubbornness extreme stubbornness of swords oh my goodness that is betrayal it's the ultimate betrayal I don't know if there's been some cheating with the three of cups maybe somebody has cheated they hit it and they're getting caught or they've stolen something there's definitely a realignment that is about to happen we have somebody here that has bitten off more than they can chew and it's gonna cause a major ending with that four of swords reversed the end of a friendship or the end of a third party or the end of, you know, a family situation. There's gossip. There's there's enemies disguised as friends that may be um, saying things. Something is definitely off. We have somebody here that keeps repeating negative, negative patterns. You know, they haven't learned their lesson. They, they they haven't learned their lesson yet. Somebody hasn't learned their lesson. They keep repeating the same patterns over and over and over again. This is somebody that is extremely stubborn with the hangman reversed, trying to punish other people. 
trying to do whatever they can to keep that leadership position. We have somebody here that is refusing to change, definitely refusing to change, to accept and allow and go with the flow. This is somebody that just keeps repeating, 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 will not learn from their mistakes and something isn't working out for them right now. They're not even trying to change, will not change. This is somebody that is refusing to budge, that is bitten off more than they can chew. I feel like there's going to be a loss. This person is, I don't know if they're sick. They could be getting sick. We may have somebody here that, uh, this is a fall with the two of coins reversed. They may be, they could be a fall from power, you know, a fall from grace, whatever. Amen. Reverse struggling will not change. This is somebody that will never, ever, ever change. Will not is unwilling to even try to change. We could have somebody here that is going to a get together, you know, they're going to a party, they're going to a get together and, you know, there's a fight, you know, there could be a fight, somebody could get put on their spot, get put on the spot and there's a fight that breaks out. I mean, I hate to say that, but just saying, they get called out for their behavior, you know, somebody gets called out or something comes up in conversation, which, you know, causes some sort of situation. It starts out with being recognized, you know, and being in a top position to ending with gossip, you know, and parting ways on not a good note. You know, this is like a fight. It's like ends and it, is, it starts out like, oh, great. I'm going to be recognized. I'm out on my sitting on my high horse, you know, and, you know, I'm the winner here to uh, not ending so well. Four of Cups reverse, four, or Four of Cups upright. We have somebody here that is discontent. They're thinking about love. They're thinking about something that they have missed. You know, the Four of Cups is a, is a missed opportunity. It's somebody that has ignored an opportunity for love or they didn't take it. They want it, though. They want it. But there's a third party there. Okay, there's another person that is in the way. It doesn't have to be a, it could be a mother, it could be a father, it could be a child, it could be a lover, you know, it could be a commitment that they're already in. We have somebody here that has betrayed another person or they're in a situation where they are thinking about something else, but their ego isn't, their pride and their ego is in the way. They're extremely exhausted and sets and, and fed up because they have to let go of something to have the love that they want. But they've pushed somebody away because uh, they want to be in the position where they are highly recognized. You know what I mean? It's interesting. We have somebody here that is has pushed somebody away. And now they are in a position where they're tired and they're exhausted and they want change. They want something more, but they're not putting in any effort to get what they want because they're worried about what everybody else is going to say. Oh my God. A Knight of Swords reversed in the on the bottom. That is untrustworthy individual. We have somebody here that... Uh, is dealing with an untrustworthy individual. This person may also just be scared. The, the Knight of Swords in reverse could be scared, fearful, fearful of, of approaching, fearful of rejection. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking a lot. They are thinking about a missed opportunity. They are thinking about something other than where they are at right now. But they can't, that two of pentacles, you gotta let something go. We talked about this at the very beginning. Some, they ha, you can't have both. 
You got to let something go. You have to be willing to change. And we have somebody here that is fighting change. Okay, we got the five of swords next to the hangman reverse. Fighting change. They may be sacrificing themselves for an individual that... Uh, lies to them a lot you know this is a liar this is somebody that is keeping them bound for some reason maybe it's because of money but it's not working out with that person it's not working out there's a lot of belittling there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of animosity there's a lot of hostilities we have somebody here that is bitten off more than they can chew with an individual that is a martyr. This person uh, is fighting with them all the time. Extremely sick of it. Wanting to leave. We have somebody here that wants to leave. They have another opportunity here, but they, they just aren't taking it. They aren't taking it. Struggling to let go. Struggling. Str and I think it's because of what everybody else is going to say. That six of wands is public recognition, first card out. This, you know, we got somebody here that has the skills to succeed if they can uh, break free from what it is they're hanging on to. But they're not putting in much effort to break free, probably because of fear. The knight of swords in reverse is fearful. Because they'll have to let go. They can't have both. This is a dead end. Somebody is in a situation. They're just biding their time. It is a dead end. The Four of Swords reverse is a dead end. There's a need. There's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. There's a lack of emotional growth. There's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of people talking, which is causing animosity, which is causing problems, and very worried about what everybody else is going to say. Ego. Hangman right next to the Five of Swords, ego. Somebody needs to follow their heart, but their ego is in the way. Missing an opportunity, thinking about it a lot. Somebody is thinking about somebody that they betrayed or that they pushed away. Knight of coins reversed. This is dropping out. This is lazy. This is lazy. We have somebody here that is lazy that doesn't want to put in the work. Again with the eight of pentacles reversed. They want to win. They want to be in the position where they're recognized as a winner. You know, while, while, where they're, and maybe they're in the position where they're at because whoever they're with um, is easy. I don't know. Um, it's just easy to be with that person. You know, it's easy, but there's no love in these cards. Uh, none. None. Somebody is in it. There is, somebody is thinking about love, though. They have an opportunity for love that they have been missing. And they're thinking about it a lot. They are. But they're unwilling to put in the work. This is somebody that is lazy. We have somebody here that is extremely tired. They're dreaming a lot about somebody else. Maybe it's even daydreaming. But they're afraid of rejection. And they're afraid of what everybody else is going to say. We have somebody here that is losing a golden opportunity sacrificing themselves needlessly for somebody that is easy it's easy to control
Somebody's not passing a test. They're not passing a test. They don't know their value. They don't know their worth. Their delay is going to cause a loss. We do have a victor here. Uh, somebody that is uh, strong that may be coming in. This person may be coming in. We have an unplanned loss as well. This is the death of a situation with the Four of Swords reversed. This is, this is parting ways. Somebody is looking for love and they are about to take an opportunity. Wheel of Fortune reversed. That is a shocking, horrendous loss judgment on the bottom this is making a judgment call it's being honest it's the truth being revealed accepting this is the end of things this is a this is a life-changing decision that is being made somebody is making a life-changing decision they have been held back repeating negative patterns repeating the same mistakes again with the wheel of fortune reverse this is a horrendous loss we have a horrendous loss here somebody is going to be experiencing a setback because they have stalled they have delayed they have wasted time that's interesting don't waste my time this is wasted time, stalling, procrastinating. Somebody, and we have it definitely here, somebody has wasted time. Now a judgment call is about to be made. This is the end of things. This is, this is, this is accepting and allowing and releasing and forgiving. This is the end of a trial. We do have somebody here that is is going to be taking a strong position this person is going to be recognized they're going to be making an approach they're all done playing games they're ready to uh i feel like ready to settle down We have a very strong individual that is, is making a judgment call based on some sort of truth, based on some sort of facts, based on whatever it is that they're thinking about. We have somebody here that is, is thinking about something that they really, really want with this Four of Cups and they are about to, uh, I don't know, take a stand of some sort. I do feel like we have... Uh, an individual that may feel like they're not qualified that is going to take a chance because the judgment card to me is a chance you know this is a chance they're gonna take a chance they're gonna take it I feel like they're gonna take a chance at something that maybe they were afraid to because they were really betrayed and hurt and belittled and left for dead in the past anyway I do see a new life that is beginning here with that four of swords this is the end of stagnation four of swords reverse this is the end of a trial this is over this is the end of things a final decision There could also be something coming back around. Somebody could be coming back around and apologizing. Don't get your hopes up, but that could be for somebody. Good luck.